How's it going guys? We are back another video here and this video is going to be telling you the best defenseman in all of Hut as of February 1st, the new month. So I figured this would be a pretty good video to tell you guys which are the best defensemen in the game. I'm not really, really doing them ranking like, you know, in, you know, one to whatever. I'm just kind of just ranking them just like here they are, the best defensemen in Hut, the ones that pretty much you should have on your team. You know, at least you should have honestly all these on your team pretty much. I know it's hard, they're, they're expensive to get, but... Uh, these are very good cards, all right? So, hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe here, and turn on all the notifications, and make sure you sub to my second channel. I'll start posting on there pretty, very, pretty soon. So, uh, let's get it going now, all right? So, starting off with the best D-men in the game, all right? So, uh, you know, this is a pretty obvious one, right? So, uh, starting off with a very obvious one, and uh, that's going to be the Team of the Year cards, right? So, Team of the Year cards, and here they are. So, Victor Edmund, Team of the Year item. Uh, he is going for quite a bit, but again, as he should. He's extremely good. He's going for over a million coins. On Xbox Series X, at least, he's 6'6", 223, left-handed shot. But guys, I mean, what more can you say? He's got all the speed things you want to see. His Excel gets juiced up to 91, 92 agility, 98 balance, 99 endurance, 92 speed as well. I mean, good shot. He's got gold shutdown in reverse, quick pick. I mean, it's really just all amazing abilities on Hedman. Uh, I mean, just such a such a strong card in every aspect. Uh, to me, he's the best D-man in the game. If I had to rank one, I mean, I mean, I definitely say he's the best one in the game. Uh, he is just something something else. He's such a good card and a fun card to use. So, Victor Hedman, guys, see me the year edition. It should be on your team if you can afford it. I know it's not easy, uh, but he was definitely worth making when you could, all right? Uh, going on to the next one, it's going to be Team of the Year Fox. I mean, it goes without saying, he's a card that's really, really good as well. Over a million coins, 94 overall with 95 speed, 95 excel, 99 agility, 92 balance, 97 endurance. Shot's also really good, 91, 97, 91, and 94. Uh, he's got elite edges, send it, quick pick. In reverse, Heat Seeker and Wheels for his zone abilities. So, uh, super good abilities as well on him. Great defensive stats as well. Uh, yeah, he's definitely not as big as Hedman, but that's okay. You don't really need every player on your team to be, you know, 6'9", but uh, he's still very, very good. Uh, Fox is an awesome card to use in this game, so uh, definitely really enjoy Fox's card, all right? So uh, let's get away from the team of the years now, and let's move on to the next D-man that I want to talk about, all right? So uh, here he is. Uh, he just came out not that long ago, guys, from the latest event. It's an MSP card, and that card is going to be MSP Dan Boyle, all right? So uh, right now, Dan Boyle on Xbox Series X is going for around 500k, uh, 95 overall edition, uh, 511, 190. He's got Workhorse, Distributor, and Fly the Zone. So uh, he's a better Eric Carlson. Uh, that's what I would say. Like, that's why Carlson doesn't really make this list, because I believe that Boyle kind of just overshadows him. 93 Excel, 95 Agility, 97 Balance, 99 Endurance, 96 Speed on him. Shots gross, 97, 98, 93, 98. Can definitely shoot the puck with him. Elite Edges, Heat Seekers, Seeing Eye, Truculence, and Tape of Tape are the abilities. Abilities aren't, like, really good. Truculence is good, but other than that, nothing too crazy. Uh, Heat Seeker could be pretty valuable if you shoot a lot with your D-men, but uh, Boyle in general, I like his card a lot, uh, and I, I believe he's a better Eric Carlson. You know, I really do. Uh, I, I think he's a fun card to use. 100 percent all right so uh let's move on to the next card now and this next card is also uh fairly new as well so uh looking at this next card here and this next card is the leaders john carlson all right so john carlson 94 overall is going for around 500k as well uh but he's 94 overall 63 215 he's got all skating sins workhorse distributor and wingman uh, so you get all that active, you get the acceleration all the way up to 94, agility at 93, 94 balance, 99 endurance, and 93 speed on Carlson. Uh, his shooting is very good as well, 91, 99, 91, 99. So uh, he's got seeing eye, tape of tape, elite edges, 1T, and born leader. Boring leader, again, unless you're scoring a lot of goals, that's really not worth activating. It's very good, but when it's a D-man, I definitely don't find as much value in it. Uh, great defensive stats, 99 defensive awareness, 96 shot blocking, 96 stick checking. I mean, all just tremendous stats on Carlson. Uh, and I love Carlson in this game. Carlson's always played really well uh, in this game. I had his X-Factor before. I stopped using it because he kind of started falling behind other D-men. But honestly, I kind of regret it. I think Carlson is an excellent card to have. So, uh, John Carlson, definitely recommend him to you guys, all right? So, let's move on to the next item now. And actually, it's a card that I have in my collection. I haven't actually used him yet. 
Uh, but the card I have in my collection, and it's actually kind of a rare card, it's going to be Evo Charlie McAvoy, right? So he's 96 overall right now, going for around 700 800K. I haven't really seen this card go for uh, 800K or anything like that, but look at his stats. So 96 overall, one of the highest D-men in the game right now, 6 foot 208. I believe he is the highest D-man in the game rating-wise. Uh, bombarded, buzzing, and light the lamp. He's got 93 Excel, 99 Agility, 99 Balance, 99 Endurance, and 94 Speed. Shots Gross, 92, 98, 95, 97. His abilities are Elite Edges, and then Tape Tape is his own ability. Good defensive stats, 99 Defensive Awareness, 98 Shot Blocking, 99 Stick Checking with the ability, sorry, with the Synergies Active. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really used them yet. I believe I'm gonna probably, but I just don't know when I'm gonna use them and who I'm gonna take out. That's kind of why I've been kind of, you know, not really sure what I'm doing yet. I kind of want to hold on to him probably until, uh, until you know, he scores another goal. But I don't know. I, McAvoy's a D-man. He didn't really score too many goals. But this year, he's been popping off with the goals. So it's really dicey. But I'm going to hold on to him probably for a little bit longer. But uh, McAvoy, you know, tremendous card. Easily one of the best D-men uh, in the game. So there you go. Charlie McAvoy, all right? Uh, moving on to the next card now. And uh, this next card as well. I mean, it's fairly new as well. Uh, definitely deserves a lot of praise. I mean... People really aren't too sure about him, right? But I, I'm pretty sure about him, and I think he's still absolutely tremendous. I don't know if he's on the market currently. Uh, it is uh, from the San Jose Sharks. It's not Carlson. It is Burns. Uh, yeah, so he's currently not in the marketplace. That's okay, though. Let's go to his the collection. Uh, but I can I can probably assume he'd probably be going for 400 to 500K, just like the other top-end D-men. Not going to go for much more than that. Obviously, a lot of people probably took him as their free guy, and uh, it was a hard, hard card to pull. So here he is, 94, Brent Burns. He's a 6'5", 230 D-man with Workhorse, uh, Buzzing Distributor or Wingman. So I, obviously, I would definitely rock the uh, Distributor on him, but... Uh, he's got Booming Shot and Protector. You can also activate on him. He's got 89 Excel and 96 Agility, 98 Balance, 96 Endurance, and 91 Speed. Uh, shots Gross, 92, 99, 91, and 99. So really, really strong shot. He's got Elite Edges, Heat Seeker, 1T, Seeing Eye, and Shutdown as his own ability. Really, the Shutdown is what makes this card that much better than anything else because, like, you can say, oh, well, there's definitely faster D-Man than him, but I think the Gold Shutdown is what makes him so broken, right? Because he's such a big D-Man, and to have Gold Shutdown, it makes it just that much better. So, uh, yeah, that's why Burn is really, really good. Great defensive awareness, 97, 99, 98 when it comes to his defensive stats. Checking is unbelievable as well, 99 by checking, 99 strength. I mean, this guy should be hard to knock off the puck, and he should be able to knock off people with the puck very easily as well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I believe, I believe Burns is really, really good. I mean, I think Burns is a fun card to use. I've heard great reviews on him, and I believe he's one of the best team men in all of HUD. All right, so let's move on to the next cards now, the final two that I want to talk about here. All right, and the final two here, a lot of right-handed D-men, unfortunately, in this uh, video. I mean, it's, it's really tough to say, though, guys. I mean, like, there's just not as many good left-handed D-men for sure, I feel like, uh, in the game. I mean, obviously, you can definitely, you know, mention, I would say, Oscar Clefbaum as well, guys. So, Oscar Clefbaum is certainly one you can't deny. 6'4", 216 with Distributor and Bombarded. I mean, great size, 91 Excel and 93 Speed. He's super good. 91, 99, 89, 97 for his shot. I mean, you can't deny Clefbaum being really good. He's got Elite Edges, and then in reverse is his own ability. And then one more left-handed D-man before I go any further. I definitely can't forget him. I actually almost did forget him. It's going to be Jacob Chikrin. He just came out as well. 94 overall. Very good card. 6'2", 210. Uh, he's got really good sins. He's got all three skating sins. 94 Excel and 92 Speed on him. Great shot. He also has Shutdown and Gold Truculence, which is really awesome. So, uh, he got a great shot as well with a 90, 97, 91, and 96. So, uh, yeah, tremendous. 99, 96, 99 for his defensive stats. And his checking is good as well with 99 and 99. So, uh, yeah, Chikrin's absolutely unreal, all right? So, on to the final two right-handed demon that I want to talk about. And uh, you definitely can't not mention them. It's going to be Kale McCarr, all right? X-Factor Edition. He's got 94 speed at his current overall. Uh, I mean, he is just so, so good. Wingman as well gets his Excel up to 96. 99 agility, 89 balance, 92 endurance. Shots unreal, 89, 93, 88, and 92. Uh, Makar is easily one of the best defensemen in this game. If you don't think that... You're wrong! He's got Heat Seeker, Seeing Eye, Send It, and then Elite Edges as his own ability. Unbelievable defensive stats. Yes, his checking is definitely not that high. I mean, he's 5'11", right? He's not 6'6", but uh, certainly not going to deter him. I think he's still very, very good there. Um, and, and, and it's going to be an end game card. It just is. My card is going to be an end game card. I don't care what you say. So, 
yeah, I mean, there you go. That's what I think about Kale McCarr. And then last but not least, for the final D-man that I want to rank, it's going to be from my New Jersey Devils. <laughs> I don't want to talk about them that much. But Dougie Hamilton, 90 overall. He's a 6'6", 229 D-man. All right, so he has 91 speed with fly zone active, okay? Um, he has really good balance, 90 forward, balance, 90 forward endurance. Shots great, 89, 93, 91, and 94 for his shot. He's got 95 defensive awareness. Decent checking, not as good as you'd like to see, but... Uh, Hamilton is just so big out there. The 6'6 frame, kind of a mini ha uh, headman, I'd say. Uh, definitely not as good, but very good regardless. So uh, that's why I think the best defensemen in HUD are right now. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Enjoy Discord, talk to me. Follow and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video.